Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Luke's, Lucy's Eternity. She was for Doctor Doctor. Yeah, Lucy suddenly came looking for me, and I'm I'm playing as a doctor now. It was unexpected, so I was a little surprised. What's this all about? Lucy he hesitates a little bit. Yeah. Just what is on her mind? Go ahead. Come on, say it. Say it. Meet her master. Hmm. Hey, wait. This is actually three days. It's September 29th. This is three days before our... At least I think it is, because I think it started on my mom's birthday, which is in three days from when this game is. Also James's birthday. <laughs> That's funny. At least I think either October 2nd or 3rd. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Her words made me see all my movements momentarily. Then, as if nothing had happened, I calmly replied. What do you mean? I wonder, if the doctor, I wonder if the doctor thinks he was supposed to be her master. You talk slow. <laughs> kind of a dick. But now he's... Hmm. Well, obviously. Or maybe he can. Hmm, a robot. Lucy become human. <laughs> Lucy, if Lucy was human, Lucy become human. Uh, just take that thing off your ear and you'll become human. And off your stomach there. I have no idea how I should respond. Her words are stabbing at my heart. Well, is it is it because you don't you want you want to be the master? It's painful to continue listening to her. It's painful to watch her desire for a master. Well, how? Despite that, I do my best to stay composed. In a controlled, measured voice, I reply. Well, try not to fret over it too much. Your big day will come soon enough. It's not like you don't enjoy staying here, right? Of course. <laughs> then all you need to do is wait patiently. I think he wants to be he wants to be her master. That does this spell good for red. Well, it might take a little longer than you expect. Oh, really? You mean like in three days? Because that's pretty much... <laughs> I don't want to be that long, jeez. A small chuckle exchanges my mouth. Yes, since we must secure approval from the authorities. Hmm. So what happened then? I mean, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially with the... Uh, you need to make sure they're not, like, gonna kill you. With with futuristic worlds like this, you need to have robots repeat for so you don't, so they don't come back and uh, try and attack you. Kind of like what happens in iRobot and Detroit Become Human. Spoiler alert if you haven't played that game yet. But very great game. R very much reminds me of this and iRobot. But this is just a visual novel, and I, I don't know if it'll get all that bad. Why is what? They're scared. <laughs> like I just said, they're scared. Yes. Scared of progress. They're scared of progress. Plus, a robot's taken over. I'm struggling to find the words to tell her. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't say that to her. Hmm? Is your to my position? Please, you're not scary. You're the most adorable. Not, not, not you personally, just robots in general. Quite a lot of them are, actually. <laughs> well, don't. It's not specifically her. Nah. No. Are we actually going to start talking about how people are scared of the robots? Not me. But everyone's everyone's different. It's unlikely that other people feel the same way as I do. Only people at this lab share my perspective. There are definitely people out there who are scared of you and other robots. There might even be people in this very lab who may put up a strong front but are actually af afraid deep inside. There are a lot more people like that in the outside world. Many more than you can imagine. Lucy actually, haven't funny how we haven't, ha haven't actually met anyone who's actually like s scared of them. Sure, they hate them, but they don't—they're not scared. Or maybe they put up their hate as a f as a front, and they're actually scared. Lucy, Lucy, what? Yeah, like the, ro the laws of robotics. Yeah. yeah. Flaws are robot, just like everyone. Detroit Become Human didn't have that. But yeah. That's not like the laws of robotics actually work, because in iRobot they didn't work. 
but then again, they're like one of them was created to disobey it. In a yeah. Oh my god. Come on, doctor, don't. You're making this. You say that, spe specify that it's not just her, it's just. It's robots in general. Jeez. Come on now. The chance of Lucy being officially released is probably close to nil. What do you mean? The door is very conservative. <laughs> yeah. We've been having. Wait, well. Uh, we've been having a tough tr time trying to convince them. Well, the other ones are fine. They don't wish for any changes that may pose a risk. What's the change, though? It's not just them. The, ma the majority of people also share that view. Well, this is South Korea. South Korea... Isn't South Korea more of a conservative, like, country? And I think recently maybe... Or maybe... I don't know. I don't really follow politics over there. Uh, but I know... Or maybe the conservative one was just... And they just elected someone else. Don't know what their views are. But I do know that... The, but I'm sure after all this robotic stuff, people will definitely start leaning more to the right and be like, You know what? Fuck, the liberals are progressing too far. I'm joining to, to the right because I don't want progress. Funny, with, if, with robots like this, I would lean more to the left because I want this kind of progress. This kind of progress I want. Mind's, mindset is certainly in the minority. We're nothing but a small group of people disillusioned with human beings. We're crossing the line that wasn't meant to be crossed. The progress that people didn't want. Nothing has changed since the past. The fact that she's still very dangerous. She's a robot that is capable of replacing a human being wholly. Yeah, they're taking our jobs and we're gur. People in South Korea are just like the people in America now. The robots taking our jobs and just like in Detroit become human, the nobility of mankind are, are reign over the world. This robot has a potential to take them away entirely. How? Is she just like Sunny? This is why the authorities believe that Lucy is a Pandora's box. So she's just basically like Lucy and Marcus in the Tropic of Human. This is why they're trying to restrict her capabilities and keep her out of public reach. Hmm. You can learn beauty from art, the world from science, life from religion, and, and man from robots. It could be that, that people are afraid to see reflections of themselves. They're afraid that they might be re reproduced through robots, or replaced by robots. The day will soon come. The day where I will have to let go of Lucy, you mean in three days. There isn't much time remaining for me and Lucy. For you and Lucy. <laughs> Something tells me this doctor. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm you know what I'm mm -hmm. you know what I'm mm -hmm about. Is it So th this is a month later. But I'm pretty sure or maybe it was October twelfth that it started at. So maybe it's a couple weeks from the doctor's time. I don't know why I was thinking about birthdays. I'm pretty sure it was October 12th. Yes? Come in. I know that can't be Lucy. She always... Open the door this instant. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, oh, no. No, no, no. Please, no more drama. Please. I, I'm, I'm really sick of this father guy. L literally, I didn't edit one of the... Episode 10 because... For a, a long time because... I'm like, oh my god. You do fucking want to punch him. <laughs> like, I didn't even show it in the video. Like... In, during recording, I didn't show that, but editing, I'm like, you dense motherfucker. <laughs> I reluctantly oblige. Yeah, same. Continuing with this game is what I meant. What do you want? My father is standing there with a displeased look on his face. What did I? What did me or Lucy do now? It's because he's holding back his temper. Next thing I know, my father has thrown something in my face. A sheet of paper flutters onto the ground. Are my grades going down? This is... I pick it up. It's the results from the mock exam I take in a while back. Oh, well, this is not about Lucy. <laughs> Explain yourself. I'm asking how you managed to bring home these atrocious marks. My grades have plummeted quite considerably. Considering how I've always done in, this school, in school, these are results were bordered on the impossible. It was very strange. I felt pretty confident while writing the exam. There was no way my grades would be this horrible. After checking each and every corner report, I finally realized. Is it because Lucy spent worrying too much about Lucy and not focusing on your schoolwork? That was me in high school. Jeez. Oh no. Deja vu again. Crap. Some of the test questions and my answers were off by one line. 
The pattern of the corrections matched my answers. What? It was a fatal mistake, but what was done was done. Wait, do you mean that you wrote out of the lines? Like, your handwriting was out of the lines and you got wrong for that? Or... Or is that... Not... Or did I take that too literally and it was... You just missed... I don't know. I've been thinking about a lot of things and my mind was a mess back then. I had scribbled all over the test without checking it over. What do you mean? Is it, was, I tried to explain it to my father. I was careless and put my answers on the wrong lines. You can still count it. Come on, are you serious with that? Do you honestly think you can fool me with such a feeble lie? I'm not lying. I really did make a mistake. I was having a hard time concentrating on the test. Hmm, why is that, though? You shouldn't have said that one. At that moment, I felt a sudden surge of anger. I didn't know why I was explaining this to him in the first place. I tell him the following, sounding annoyed. It's just a mock exam, so it doesn't really matter, right? It's for practice anyway. I just need to do well on the real thing. You have the audacity to tell me that it doesn't matter after showing me these results? Do you honestly expect me to believe you'll, that you'll do well on the real exam? I wasn't like this when I was your age. I was never once brought home grades as poor as these. Oh, really? It can't be helped. I'm not you, after all. You're right. You can never be me. It appears that you don't bear any resemblance to me. Exactly. This never would have happened if you were like me. I'm glad I'm not like you. If you were like me, you wouldn't have turned out so inferior. You seem to have taken after your mother. Nothing good about her. Nothing good about her, that is. <laughs> But what, mm, how dare he? With a crack, something inside me snaps. Please punch the shit out of him. You're... You're always like this. Oh, please, I was hoping you could... You're always being so stubborn and judging people by your own selfish standards. What's so great about you, huh? You tell him. Am I just supposed to watch my son become a failure in life, then? Whatever happens, this has nothing to do with you. You've never once taken good care of me anyway. Aren't you the only- aren't you only thinking about yourself all the time? What kind of nonsense are you talking about? I think he gets mad though because he does care, but he just does- does it in the wrong way. Even if you never decide to bring it up, I'm gonna take care of you the rest of your life so you can rest assured. What the- because even a person like you is still my father. I'll be sure to repay my gratitude for raising me. Even if I move out of this place, I'll make sure to send you money every month. I'll make sure that you live a pleasant life. Then that's settled, right? No objections? In exchange, once I find a job, don't even think about talking to me ever again. God! Don't talk to me or my android ever again. Don't even think about seeing my face ever again. Why, you brat? Hit me. I'm gonna hit him back. Hit him back. I was slapped right in the face again. A light flashed before my eyes were and jumping. Please, Lucy, come hit him. My pounding heart feels like it's crushing me. my insides. In my complex state, I look up. Without losing any strength in my gaze, I glare at my father. I was at that moment. Lucy! Lucy entered the room. After looking around, wondering what happened, she jumps in in shock as she, as she spots me. She approaches me and helps me up. Oh, I fell down. Lucy, he hit me. Please hit him for me. <laughs> Nothing at all. Yeah, what do you think, Cap? I said it's nothing. Move aside. It's not something you should be concerned about. I don't want you to break the laws of robotics. But... I said move aside. Uh, after a short pause, she takes a tiny step back. At that moment, my father's gaze passes on to her. Hey, leave her alone. Is it because of that robot? What are you talking about? It must be. Ever since you brought that thing home, you began to turn strange. And you used to be a good boy who would never talk back to his father. Someone who would never stare at his father with such hatred in his eyes. All of this is the robot's fault. No you. The robot is tearing you apart from the inside. No you. What nonsense are you talking about? I opened my mouth to protest, but I immediately swallowed my words back down. I flinched after noticing my father's gaze. <laughs> he had the look of a maniac who was about to do something horrible. And I just noticed that, as you mentioned, his fists are shaking uncontrollably. You started becoming twisted ever since that robot set foot in this house. That robot is leading you astray. 
Get away from my son, you filthy machine. Oh, don't you touch her. Lucy looks troubled. My father saw the purchase, I don't know. I clearly intended to do something terrible to her. But it seemed like Lucy never once thought about resisting in the first place. She continued to stand there even while quivering in fear. Not intending to move no matter what horrible things my father might do to her. Oh, am I going to do something about it? In desperation, I grab hold of Lucy's hand, then I dash out of the house with her. Oh, that's better. Better than getting violent. Let's run away, Lucy. Let's run away and never come back. That was a smart move. I'm glad I didn't have to make a choice. I would have punched him. No, I, I'm, I probably would have ran. If that gave him the option. There's a lot of sweat tripping down my forehead. Lucy gives me a worried look as she wipes it off. Yeah, I'm just a... Uh, a little worn out. Oh, really? You could measure in that for me. Stop that. Let's take a short walk. I think both of us need some time to cool, cool our heads. Plus, plus, asshole back there. Understood. Good. I'm alright. Why? That place. The, 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 the graveyard? The graveyard. Junkyard? Why? We already did a scene here again. Sometimes it's since our arrival at the junkyard. For a place to take a walk, it isn't very romantic a walk in, but this is where Lucy wanted to be. Because this is when, where she first found me. This looks kind of like the scene I was already at before. Lucy's been standing silently with a blank stare. Ever since we came here, She's been staring at a certain spot along the ground. For some reason, she seems a little sad. Is this... I feel like... I, in the last episode, I showed a part where we came here. I, I don't know if in this file I did that, because I might have went to a different file to do that. I don't know if that would have changed it, but I could check. Not in the video. For some reason, she seems a little sad. Are you, are you worrying about that again? What my father said. Not to me or not. Who cares what he thinks? He's an asshole. Who cares what he thinks? I can't bring myself to answer that question. As long as she remains a robot, there's no way my father will ever find her helpful. Lucy become human! She become human, then she'll no, okay, shut her, but <laughs> no. I suddenly remember the look at my father's he had his, his, I shot as, as a chill runs down my spine. Expecting something like this to happen again in the future, I decided to tell Lucy the following. If my father ever tries to do something to you, then just run away. That's bad. That's good. Yeah, that's right. I'm telling you to protect yourself. Don't just stand there like you did back in then and run away. Got it? That's an order. That's a. That's it's an order. Yeah. Don't just stand there. And take it. You might become a deviant, and we don't want that. Don't want... Because <laughs> once... The emotions, yeah. There's only so much the three laws of robotics could do to protect Lucy. With such an order given, I can finally relax. And quit worrying about it so much. But, at the very least, I'd like you to stay by my side. So try to be satisfied with just that. No matter what my father says, you can stay with me like this for all eternity. Because this is the eternity you wish for. I <laughs> got him. It was an embarrassing single line I put in a lot of effort to say. But for some reason, Lucy changed the subject. Eternity. <laughs> well, as long as I live, you'll, you'll live longer than me. How long, you ask? I couldn't guess what kind of answer she was expecting. Eternity is an eternity. Forever. Until I die. Until the day I die. It means forever. There's no end. You know, until I die. <laughs> Don't what act stupid. You... Huh? Yeah, yeah, because... Obviously, yeah, it, it, yeah, you gotta stay until you die, because you can't be with her forever. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, duh. Yeah, but hopefully I won't grow old and stupid like the father. Well, yeah. Obviously. 
Obviously, that's that's. You have a you you find a new master. I don't know however long I live, jeez. <laughs> He's like a teenager or something. Uh, you give about 60 years. That'd be about 70, 80. 50, 60 years. I plan it for a bit. If you want me to be realistic, it's until I die. Duh. That's right, the eternity I wish for is until my death. Most people live to 100 nowadays, so that's a lot of time left. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, there's at least 80 years. It means there's at least 80 years ahead of us. I don't know. That's how long you need to stay by my side for. And then you can find a new master. Until I die. Yeah, it's quite a long time. 80 years at the most. As long as no one gets in the way, sure. What makes you say that? Lucy sounded anxious. As she was, as if she was imagining something that could only happen in dreams. Of what? Uh, I told you I would never do that. Come on, Lucy. Why don't you believe me? I realize I'm raising my voice a little. I won't abandon you. Come on now. I won't leave you behind and put you in here like those very responsible people to laugh in. I think we're going to find out what exactly happened. But stop, stop saying things like that. Yes, it's only... Then we'll cross the bridge when we get there, okay? But... So you think I'm gonna desert you for a new one? Please. No. <laughs> yeah, I would, I, I would agree with that. See, you are kind of the, the finest model of Android out here. Hey, no need to show off. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Well, that's probably true. Well, did he think she was trying to? Like, I mean, I'd made that joke, but I know that she meant that because she's the newest one. Who cares? I, I, I don't normally care about progress in technology. Y you're an exception. What, what features could they have that I would want that you don't already have? What malfunctions do you have? Like motions? <laughs> I don't know if motions is a malfunction. For, for you guys, I think you, you're false and <laughs> I don't know, you're pretty pleasing to die already. I mean, I could always. If you're talking about clothes. You can always change clothes to, to new fashion or whatever. I don't think so. No, unless for some reason you actually malfunction and don't work anymore, then maybe. But, uh... No, no you won't. No. You'll, that'll never happen. Yes. I don't care about what the future holds for other androids. Who cares? Yes. Yeah. Yes, unless you break down and don't work anymore. Yes. Yeah, I will. Promise. Oh my god. Well, the present you won't be the same as you in the future. Come on now. Excuse your love for Lucy. <laughs> hey, don't don't say that. Don't say that so. Yeah. Hey, no matter what happens to me, you'll still be there. Well, it's best not to worry about that. You just wait till the future to see what the future holds when it comes. Come on now. Well, then let's. Well, stop worrying and then. There is a possibility that my future self might look down on the current me. Yeah, that's true. I do that to myself a lot, but. Uh, 
in the end, when it comes to a girl, uh, it's funny how I'm tilting my head to her now it look because she's tilted. <laughs> but uh, when it comes to girls, like I would take the past girl, one past girl I dated over any future girl. Uh, speak up once more. It's just as you say. I can't guarantee anything. Who knows what might happen until the actual time comes. But still, don't worry about it. I'm confident. Confident that I won't change. Too much. Because it's not like I just want any decent android. That's right. I was a keep and losing her just for the sake of convenience. Nor for her features. I want you for her you for her you are. I want you for who you are, Lucy. Lucy doesn't reply immediately. Like, I don't care about your kind of features. Who is that, Lucy? Good. Uh, you? The one that helps me? What do you mean? <laughs> the one that cares for me helps me out. And when I'm sick, you, you take care of me. That part. I don't understand. Come on. Dead ass though. <laughs> I'm sure people were thinking that, like. But, uh, who cares about that? That's not the Lucy I'm wanting. The Lucy I want is. And here and here, where there should be a heart, but she's an android, so. Many issues will begin to rise in only a few years in. Yeah, that's true. My phones don't usually last long, but I take, think this is technically the first Android and it's already past two years and it's still working pretty decently. So maybe Androids are just better than my Boost Mobile and Windows phones. So you're an Android, so you'll probably last a little longer than a few years. Well, that's why we have the dude. He'll, he'll fix you up. And we can... Mm. The rich and loose may never return. I'm sure they can put it back to where you, your face will stay the same. You can design it to be the same how it used to be. Yes. You deteriorate with age, I deteriorate with age. We'll age together, you in your techno technology, technology way and me in my human way. Appearance doesn't matter. People get plastic surgery all the time. <laughs> but that doesn't change who they really are on the inside. And that also applies to you. Because you'll still have your memories. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully some error doesn't happen to where you forget everything. Lucy sad and uncertain. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm sure... Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, you mean like you can now function at all? Well then, we'll change it back. Well then, let's not do that. Mm. That's true. Can't something like that happen? Could it happen to the trade company? See, you was talking about how I might change in the future, but now, 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 now you're saying, oh, well, you might change in the future too. Oh my God, seriously, just wait till it comes. Well, I'm sure the game's not gonna play for that long. Yeah. Well, people lose their memories as they get older too, but I think why not? It might be a little longer for a, a human. Well, for now there is. Actually, there will always be something that's uh, one of a kind. 
You're one of a kind because you, you, you help me. None of the androids will, won't be the same. I'm saying it because he's not saying anything. Here's a fun question. Lucy A. She possesses Lucy's original body, but not her memories. Other side is Lucy B. I keep kind of skipping over her dialogue. I'll take Lucy B. It's gonna have to choose. Come on, let me choose. How are you talking? This is my line. It was a question based off of the ship of the assist. B, duh! Hey, what's the third choice? <laughs> hmm. Well, I, I choose both, but I'm gonna save and see what happens for both of them. Save, save. The logical answer would be B, because who cares what she looks like, but I would like to keep what she looks like, but uh, I'll go with this one. But I'll check the other one too. I, I mean, I guess I could check the... I would choose the Lucy with all of her memories. <laughs> because I don't want you to forget anything that happened. It'll be... Because those memories are something we share together. It'll be, it won't be the same if only I remember. The memories are the same, so who cares? I don't care if you look, don't look the same. I'm sure that could be fixed, though. I'm sure eventually I'll be different from what you're used to. <laughs> nah. Not unless you look, like, really broken, but, uh... Yes. That's irrelevant as long as we share the same memories. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yes. Even if your memories become altered, I'm sure something will remain inside of you that could reveal your true identity. Mm. Can we come to some sort of conclusion now? Because this is going on for 30, well, for 30 minutes. Ah, me neither. Me neither. But your, your meaning and your existence is to help me, my character. And for me, in this let's play. Oh, jeez. What's that? No, I have not heard of that. Well, Your body parts. Well, exactly that, the rust on the parts. Hmm. Marcus did something like that. Do something like that. Marcus and Dutropic of Human. I, I don't know. Being there for me my whole life. Who cares what other people think? You, you, I, I'm, your, I'm your master. Who cares what... I guess you can leave behind your body parts. <laughs> it was a joke, Lucy. The memories. We had to get, The memories we'll have together. Like what? Duh, that's what I just said. Yeah. Memories, duh. Yeah, exactly. You'll exist in my memories, and hopefully you can have your memories until... Until you, until you break down, or if I die before you break down. Yeah. Lucy Valentine. That's funny how your name, last name is Valentine. Always Lucy. Always. 
Oh, wait, for, until I die. And after death, depending. That is the turning Lucy wishes for. <laughs> I nod at her words. I understand what she's saying. But that's not what I want. Something like that is it that is that is what? What do you mean? Well, now that I've calmed down a bit, let's head back. Wait, do you want something more than that? Hmm. Father could he'll be he'll still be angry. I don't know, we'll find out once we get there. If anything, we'll come, go back out. It was funny how Santa that's funny way. Hey, actually let's make make a house out of all this junk. We'll hide here until I can actually get my life together. I'm just kidding. Jeez, it's nighttime. Maybe he'll be asleep. Oh, you know what? That's the end of the episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, want to see what happens next? Oh, jeez. Hopefully, we've got more drama. Let's try and get in here with a, a quiet, quietly, but so far it doesn't hear. And hope things get less dramatic, and maybe something will happen. And uh, if, if you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Lucy the Eternity, she wish for be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know you did, and subscribe for more. Same. But I'm trying to figure out from where you came uh -huh. Because a style like hers Man, it rarely occurs in a world like this Only way you ever meet a girl like this Get up in a spaceship and take that trip You gotta have a way with words To even start a combo to get at her Every other chick becomes a blur Be my missus, I be your sir I love her the way she is The way she are My shooting star And I pray that you never change We stay the same She's both I want to see this different. I would choose both. Oh, I, I, I know both Lucy's are a lot, right? So I would choose both of them. I, I, I'm not being careless. It's an excellent choice that I came up with after giving a lot of thought. When you look at games and manga, harem endings are always the best, right? <laughs> really. It's the only solution that would satisfy everyone. Yeah. How though? <laughs> Shut up. Lucy smiled calmly, as if she was a parent being, bearing with a child's immature outburst. It bothered me a little. <laughs> Is there anything going to change from now? Okay, I think this is the same. Okay, choose Lucy very much well. This is a bad option. <laughs> The real Lucy is the one with her original body. This is a bad choice. I would choose that Lucy. <laughs> because I remember your delicate touch across my forehead. The feeling of carrying you on my back for the first time. The sensation of holding you in my arms. I remember all of it. But that doesn't lose you of any of your memories. Yeah, I know. That's why I wouldn't choose it. Even so, there must be something left inside her that will remember. Something intangible proof that could reveal the connection between us. Yeah, maybe you, the memories will still be there, we just have to get them back. Because maybe, it might be an android, but maybe something will change. Lucy become human. Okay, well that's, that's it. If you could, uh, do this while I'm trying to do this. Okay, now that's the end of the video. See ya.